Hi. Yeah, it's me, Will, you know, in front of the camera. Usually I'm behind it, but this time I'm in front of it. That's because I'm gonna try something new on my channel and I'm gonna try to make more like one-on-one -on -one almost conversations with myself and the viewers. And a lot of times these are just gonna be conversations that I kind of wish I was able to have or videos that I wish I could find on YouTube um, at some point in my life. And now, you know, getting older, I, I'm, I'm starting to have the, the information, the knowledge to answer those questions I once had. So today's video, I'm gonna talk about Syracuse University. And this being my first semester that just passed as a freshman, I'm gonna answer some questions about whether or not if Syracuse might be the right school for you or whether or not if it was really worth it for me this semester. So, that being said, welcome to my channel. Subscribe if you are new and let's get right into it. So as I said earlier, I am a freshman at Syracuse University from the time this video has been uploaded. And I just finished my first semester over there. I'm a television, radio, and film dual major with uh, Newhouse School of Public Communications and I'm also a business management major at Whitman. I have a lot of experience, I'd say, in both schools. And the workload, definitely, I have a lot of experience in as well, being a dual major. So don't, before you start bumbling me in the comments, I use Quora sometimes to answer questions or ask questions that I have because I don't know what it is, but it's just something I enjoy doing. And so someone asked what it's like being a freshman on Syracuse University, and I did give a detailed explanation. So I think what I'm gonna be doing this video is I'm gonna be kind of building off of that explanation that I gave to that uh, user on uh, Quora, and hopefully that's able to answer the questions that you have. Around this time last year, I was utilizing uh, the website called Niche, which is basically something that you would use to kind of research colleges and uh, see what their grade was according to Niche and what other students said about it and the typical GPA, whatever, that got accepted in the school. And on Niche, there was a question that was asked to users that would ask them to describe Syracuse University in a phrase. And the number one most commonly, I guess you could say, uh, answered phrase w was party hard, work hard. And let me tell you guys, that <laughs> that is probably as most accurate as, as it'll get at Syracuse because while a lot of the students here, especially in the Newhouse School of Public Communications, are competitive, and driven to you know make sure that their work gets done, it gets done on um, on time. There also is a huge like party culture that exists in the school. For example, during Halloween weekend, people were going out Thursday, people were going out Friday. I know someone that one person went out Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I guess I should take take a couple steps back about the work hard um, phrase that I was that I was talking about. In Newhouse, as I mentioned, a lot of the students there do work hard from what I've noticed. In Whitman, it's sort of the same thing. I'd say the majority of students there really do care about their grades, but there are, are also going to be a handful of students who are going to slack off and are just going to get by with their work or they're going to ask, can I have help with this? Can I have help with that? Can you do this test for me? So just just so you're aware, just keep a, keep a you know, Keep that in the back of your mind. So if you're someone that isn't really too fond of the whole party scene at Syracuse, there's still a lot of things you can do to have a good time. I mean, there this, this school spirit here is insane. Our football team went on this this uh, season 6-0 and and it was wild in the middle. Absolutely, absolute insanity. I mean, we lost six games after that and only won one game. Uh, the Bad Boy Mowers Pinstripe Bowl is actually today, which is why I'm wearing this, at 2 o'clock. Here. Here's Schrader. Oh, he threw the pick! It's Bryson! Coleman Bryson still on his feet! And he will score! But school spirit at Syracuse is absolutely insane. Basketball, same thing. And although I'm going to be honest with you, the teams are not looking too good. The soccer team is blowing everyone's expectations away when in the NCAA uh, soccer tournament this year, the champions, the, for the first time in history. The dream was unthinkable months ago. Yeah! And in addition to that, they have some program called Orange After Dark where they take 
students and they kind of just have like student events like at night when you're done with all your classes and some of these events would be three dollars all you know arcade games at Dave and Buster's or they'll have a, a movie showing outside somewhere or they'll do bingo for groceries or something so over the next few weeks you guys are probably gonna be you know feeling nervous you're gonna be feeling happy you're gonna be feeling bittersweet all of that is completely normal and I guarantee you guys it's all gonna work out in the end what you'll notice and it'll obviously be heightened once you decide to go to a, to go to a school and you're actually on campus is there are a lot of students that are really humble down to earth really chill people like some of the nicest people I've met and then there's also a lot of rich and entitled kids and I know it's kind of like a like an obvious like gimme but like for me it was a bit of a, like a like I was a bit in shock by how many were like that I don't want to get too much into it but I just want you guys to know that that is gonna happen and I personally have like no tolerance for, for snobby stuck up people so I just want to let you guys know so you're prepared coming into that as well by the time this video goes I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be getting your admissions decisions back and whatnot but I will say that as far as me, from my experience, I hated the admission process. When it came to me submitting my immunization reports, I had to call like 15 different people to make sure it went through because it showed up on my, my slice, which is like the, the student tracker thing, that I didn't submit all these documents. And then I had to call this person, this person, this person. It was like such a headache. Like that was probably the worst part about going to Syracuse. So I'm actually not in the area that I was filming this before because I completely forgot about some of the two most, well others would argue the two most important things about the campus life and that is where you're living and food. And as far as the living situation goes, I live in Del Plain Hall and my roommate has been like fantastic this year. I haven't had any problems with him. We were in agreements with each other on nearly everything. He respects his space, I respect his. I also lucked out because my room is a split double and it used to be a suite, so it's like freaking huge. And the dining, or the, excuse me, the dorm, uh, Del Plain Hall is actually right next to the gym and the dining hall of Ernie Davis. So that's also just really convenient for me as well. And the shower situation at Syracuse is mixed. So some of them have communal showers and some of them have pods. And if you don't know what a pod is, it's basically just like your own singular bathroom that you share with everybody else. The food there is okay. It's pretty good, decent. So if you're someone that isn't like huge into like good tasting food or something like that, or expecting like UMass level dining hall, you're, you know, you're not gonna get it. But if it's someone that's like, doesn't really care too much about it, then it's, it's not bad. I am gonna reiterate the fact that I'm a dual major with television, radio, and film, and business management. So just so you guys are aware, this is kind of me speaking from my experience of being a double major um, as well. So all in all, overall, I'd say that Syracuse University was the right choice that I made, and it's overall pretty good school for me, and I'm pretty happy to be there. I don't think I have really any plans to transfer anytime soon. And I also wanted to say that if you guys are still unsure of whether or not if Syracuse is the right school for you, be sure to send me an email, comment in the comment section below, contact me on social media. I'd love to talk to you guys and help you guys network and really just help you with your experience in the college admissions process. I'd also like to note that I am a Newhouse ambassador, so if you have any Newhouse specific questions, I can answer them as well. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video.